When we think of lie detectors, most of us imagine polygraph tests like this one. Polygraphs rely on measuring body changes such as increased heart rate or perspiration that can be linked to deception. But Temple University scientists Scott Farrow and Faroz Mohammed point out that it's not a perfect test. About 25 percent of the time, if you're innocent, the polygraph is going to say that you're either guilty or it's indeterminate. Now, using MRI brain scanners, they're developing a way to detect lying by looking directly at people's brain activity. We are going to the source. We are going to the region of the brain which is actually formulating a response. Farrow and Mohammed had six of 11 volunteers fire a gun, then lie and say they didn't. The other five could truthfully say they didn't fire the gun. As they reported in the Journal of Radiology, MRI brain scans showed areas that only lit up during lying and also showed that the brain has to work harder to lie than to tell the truth. In the group that lied, there were two times uh, the number of areas throughout the brain that showed areas of activation compared to the group that was telling the truth. Farrow and Mohammed say a lot more research is needed, but they believe this method could one day be more accurate than a polygraph. I think it will be very, very hard for somebody to uh, cheat. Because when you're a liar, it's your brain that's on fire. I'm Brad Closa.